State of Durban, where the Director General in the KwaZulu Natal Premier's office is expected to appear in court, Nuntan Tlamkisa was arrested yesterday on allegations of defeating the ends of justice and intimidation. She allegedly attempted to stop a forensic investigation into corruption at Mshatuza Water Board. Let's get you a live update. Bring in our reporter, Karinda Jagmohan. Karinda, a slow start there. The case yet to begin, am I right? That's correct. We're still waiting for this matter to start. In fact, the magistrate did come a bit earlier, but the prosecution team wasn't here. As it. Now they've arrived, and we'll take you quickly inside court. We're still waiting for permission to broadcast these proceedings. But my colleague, Bungelo Zungu, will show you some of those who are in court. You'll see uh, Tandu Kolo Sabelo from the Etiquini Exco. You'll see other members there. Remember, this is the Director General of the Premier's Office, who will be appearing in court along with five other people. Also so senior officials at the Mshlatuze Water. Timakila, I'll just take you back to the allegations that have surfaced. This is a bulk water entity, Mshlatuze Water. We'll just come out of the courtroom as I tell you. The allegation is that the Mshlatuze Board Chairperson had surfaced concerns about alleged irregular appointments of service providers without following proper supply chain management processes at Mshlatuze Water. Further investigations revealed revealed that some senior officials at Umshlatuze Water could have been implicated in this irregular appointments and ultimately fraud amounting to at least 37 million rand. But the board chairperson who raised these concerns and allegations said that she had been visited at her home by an unknown person who said they were from the National Intelligence Agency and were sent to her house by the KZN Premier's office. Thereafter, they threatened her with arrest unless she stopped the investigation and hand over this forensic report. Ultimately, the Hawks have been investigating all of these allegations and have um, come to the decision to arrest the Director General of the Premier's office, her partner as well. They've been charged with intimidation and defeating the ends of justice. Then four other people have also been arrested and are apparently uh, high-ranking officials at Mshlatuze Water to be charged with corruption related to the similar allegations that we just mentioned. So this entire case now coming to fruition here at the Durban Commercial Crimes Court. We're waiting for this to start, but one thing that's important, my colleague Ngelo Zunko will show you now, is that they are high-ranking uh, legal representatives for the accused. One of them, Advocate Jay Naidu, he is uh, also representing the former Tipini Mayor Zandile Gumede in uh, her criminal case. You'll see Advocate Jimmy House. He has also been prominent in uh, cases involving uh, government officials. You'll also see Advocate Griffiths Madonsela, who you would have seen in the corruption case involving the uh, former President Jacob Zuma. High ranking or prominent legal representative defense attorneys. We've just also seen the public prosecutor walk in. So we can say that this case is about to start. The big question is whether or not the accused, now uh, heads of government entities and state entities, whether or not they'll be granted bail. It looks like the matter could start very soon. Karinda Jagmohan, thank you very much for that update from Durban.